If you love all about reading as much as I do, then you might actually be really sad when your child graduates from level four. Hi, I'm Stacy with Kids Learning for Life, and this is exactly how I felt last year when my then third grader was done with level four. So All About Reading has four levels. I'll leave links to my reviews for all of the levels below, but basically once you reach All About Reading level four, you're done. Now, my son really struggled to start to read f at first, and it took him a long time, he hated it, but then once we started All About Reading, the curriculum just clicked for him, and it was very, very fun. So by the time we were done with the program, he was really excited about reading, and I wanted to keep that love of reading going. I really relied on All About Reading to let me know how to teach reading to my son. I mean, I had a general idea, but the very specific scope and sequence, I really wasn't sure what to do. So when All About Reading, we were done with level four, I felt really lost. So I had to start researching and figure out what I'm supposed to do for my kid for reading next. In my research, I stumbled upon an article by All About Learning, so the same company that does All About Reading, and I will link to that article below. But basically, once a student completes level four, then they have learned to read. At this level, they can read independently, they aren't struggling, they at least know how to sound out everything or new words, and so their next step is to read to learn. So now that my son had this reading ability, he can then use that to help him learn even more. The next two things that All About Learning Press suggested that my son be doing is making sure he is reading for 30 minutes per day and making sure that he is exposed to lots of new vocabulary. By having your child read for 30 minutes a day, it gives them exposure to good writing, it gives them exposure to new vocabulary, it even kind of helps with spelling because they're able to see how words are written. So in our homeschool, my kiddos have 15 minutes of independent reading every single school day, and then at bedtime, they can have books in their bed and they can read before they go to bed. So as far as the 30 minutes of reading is concerned, I knew we were covering that. For building vocabulary, All About Reading recommends having your child read, which we already <laughs> discovered that we're doing that, and then be read too. So we do readings every single night, well, almost every single night, we're not perfect, but we do readings at nighttime before bed. Um, I read aloud to my boys, and then when we're in the car, since we live a lot further out now, we're a little more rural, when we go do errands and whatnot, if the boys are with me, we will put on audiobooks. So that way they're in the car listening to stories, and then they get that read aloud time from me before bed, and then various read alouds that they get through our curriculum. So that is basically all that All About Learning recommends to do for reading after All About Reading level four. But what about literature, you might be asking, and I was asking the exact same thing. The article says that your goal during the read to learn stage is to encourage reading and help your child continue to develop fluency and confidence. So it's important to let your child be drawn to the joy of reading. So teaching literature is the logical next step as long as you can make sure you keep your child's joy in reading alive. So that was my goal, keep my child interested in reading. Now the article does list some recommended curriculums which you can view, but for me, I did not want a curriculum since last year we were focusing on writing. So I didn't wanna add in an extra whole curriculum, I just wanted to focus on writing and reading. So one of my favorite parts about All About Reading is it's really kind of that one-on-one -on -one time of just my kiddo and me and them reading aloud to me and us getting to kind of do a story together with them being the reader, not me. So what I decided to do was just to have my child read novels to me. Instead of doing All About Reading lessons, he was going to just take a book, off the shelf, open it up and start reading. But the books that I allowed him to do for this exact time were a little higher on the end of his reading level. So I did this for a few reasons. First, that since I'm sitting right there, I'm able to see how high can he go? What reading level is he really at? And can he figure out words and understand them at this level. So I knew he was reading books on his own, but those were at a much easier level for him, which is fine. When they're just reading for fun, I have learned that easy is kind of better so they can just have fun with it. They're not going to want to read if they're looking at the pages and they really have a hard time. So again, that's why I was saving the harder novels for when he's with me and I he knows 
that if he gets too stuck, I'll be able to help him. I would check for comprehension just by having discussions after we read or even having him narrate what he read to me and then just asking a few questions here and there throughout the text to make sure that he was following the story. I did want to just note really quickly that for the books that we got, let's see, I think he picked, we did Iron Giant, so basically I had a couple of books um, that I let him pick. Which one do you want to do? Out of these five books, what do you want to do? So he picked Iron Giant first because it was the shortest. Uh, then we picked The Tale of Despero, both of which had movies based off of the books. So that was fun motivation for him because he was able to, after we read the book, I said we would watch the movie. And then the third one, um, I bought a series of called Hank the Cowdog. And it looked like it was a little bit higher level, and so when I checked the reading level, it was higher for him. But so I was hoping that if we read the first book together, that would kind of give him that motivation to read the rest of the series. I think I bought the first 10 books in that series. So that was what we worked on last school year. Now with the first two books, The Tale of Despero and Iron Giant, I did get those literature study books that have like little activities and questions to go along with the reading. I ended up not really using those, again, because um, some of them had writing activities and if anything had to do with writing more than what we were already doing in our other curriculum, my son was like, why do I want to read if after I read I have to write? So it was taking the fun out of reading by making him write afterwards. It's I, I get it, but it's kind of weird all at the same time. So I ended up not using those and we just did our own little discussions and narrations after each reading. So once you're done with All About Reading Level 4, your child has learned to read. They've learned all the skills they need to be able to read. Well, all that's left is to build vocabulary and just keep reading and foster a love of reading. As I mentioned, the key that I found into helping my son have more confidence in reading was practicing harder books with me. But how did I know exactly where my child was and which books were harder? Well, I'm gonna leave a link to a video right here where I give you a free and quick way to figure out what your child's current reading level is so that then you can figure out some books that would actually challenge them. And if you want some good recommendations for first through third graders, check out Jenny's video where she talks about some books that her and my kids both loved reading at this age. See you next time and happy homeschooling!